The Democratic Republic of Congo has suspended Rwandan air flights. They have basically sanctioned Rwanda and they also summoned the Rwandan ambassador because they said that Rwanda has been supporting the M23 rebels. Let me first show you what's happening and then I will explain why I'm confused about this. Relations between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo have been strained after a week of intense fighting between the Congolese army and rebels of the M23 group in eastern DRC. The DRC government accuses Rwanda of supporting the M23 rebels. Authorities in Kinshasa have summoned the Rwandan ambassador, Vincent Karega, to express their disapproval of his country's actions. Rwanda has however denied supporting the rebels and instead accused the DRC army of firing rockets in their territory. Kigali also accused the DRC government of working closely with the Hutu militia known as the FDLR and kidnapping two of their soldiers who were on patrol near their shared border. The military evidence were found in the area. The images held by our armed forces as well as the testimonies collected from our people demonstrates that M23 is supported by the Rwandan army. This attitude is clearly aimed at undermining our efforts to bring about peace within the framework of the Nairobi process. Consequently, the High Council of Defense draws the following conclusions. First, the M23 is considered a terrorist movement. It will henceforth be treated as such and is therefore excluded from the Nairobi dialogue process. Two, a warning is issued to the Rwandan government whose attitude is likely to disrupt the peace process. According to some estimates, there are about 120 rebel groups. Now, when it comes to these peace talks in Nairobi, there were about 30 military groups there. M23 was also invited and they took part, but they left. I think they left after the first day. You know, there was fighting back home, so they left. And there were other armed groups that wasn't also part of it. But my confusion comes from the simple fact that last month Congo became a member of East African community. What was the point of becoming a member of an organization that Rwanda is part of? I mean, if your relationship is this strained that you're willing to sanction this country, why join that group? And also if Rwanda is supporting this group, why allow Congo to become a member of it? Now, another thing is that on April 22, they made an agreement, the seven countries in East African community, they sat down and they decided that they would form a regional military force. They would combine their armies in some way and form a force. And the main idea of forming this military was to help Congo fight these rebel groups and finally bring peace to Congo. Now, if you are wondering, is Rwanda actually helping these rebel groups? I have no idea, but let's just say that this accusation has been going on for a long time. Even UN has said that Rwanda and Uganda are arming some of these rebel groups. To me personally, the saddest part about this news is that I was actually happy about this federation, East African Federation. I was thinking to myself that, you know what, this is great. And if this works out, maybe one day Somalia would be part of it. But now all these peace talks, all these decisions to form this alliance, to build a military force, in one day all of that, is just thrown into a garbage and all of a sudden these countries are sanctioning each other and now they are escalating to a point of war but in a way there's also an opportunity and i do hope that kenya tanzania and uganda can intervene and that they would solve this issue once and for all because nobody nobody wants to see another war in congo where rwanda is involved anyways i hope you liked this video and if you did please do remember to subscribe like share and comment